What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dollar Mike back at again with another video and yet again it is the end of the month. We are now at the end of May of 2022 going into June and you guys already know what time it is. End of the month is dividend time because we're going to get this money anyway. We're going to get this passive income anyway no matter what the stock market is doing. We're collecting money regardless and you can do just about the same as I do every single month. Collect that dividend income. Check out my dividend video. It'll be linked up there to show you exactly how to do it. Regardless, we're going to talk about all the stocks that pay me for the month of May of 2022. I'm not going to waste too much time for it, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the video. Let's go. guys haven't seen my content before i make personal finance content here on youtube so if you're interested we got investing stuff saving your money type of stuff budgeting credit credit cards it's all covered right here on dollar mike so go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button to see more content like it if you're interested if not it's all good i also have a second channel which is a lifestyle like channel which i'll be posting vlogs i already have about four or five up i'll be doing some reaction videos and other stuff on there if you're interested so check that channel out it'll be linked up there as well on top of that Let's get into the portfolio. And just before we jump into the portfolio, I just want to say that right now we're getting about an annual income of a little bit over $1,100 in passive income every single year at least from this dividend portfolio. So I'm going to grab my phone right here. We're going to run through the numbers and show you exactly what we got for May. All right, so we're all set up. Got my phone right here. So let's go ahead and talk about the first stock, which is ticker symbol BGS. That stands for B&G Foods. That is on May 2nd of 2022, and that is for $24.84. So we go ahead and click on BG Foods. Um, that is for holding about 52 shares, and overall the amount per share is about 47 and a half cents per share paid out to me. This is not on my dividend reinvestment, so this will not be reinvested back into BGS to make me even more money on the next dividend payout. This simply goes to my portfolio value, and then I can use that money, that $24, for whatever I want to use it for. I can take it out and put it in my personal bank account like you can too, or I can have it reinvested back into the stock. Or I can just put it towards another stock as well. Completely up to you, just like it's completely up to me. Either way, we go ahead and click, and B, click on BGS right now. BGS is sitting at about $22.85 a share right now. I'm actually looking to sell this particular position in full. I'm actually looking for a replacement for this position. And pretty much they just handle their food brands. So they pretty much own a lot of different food companies. They own... I'll probably put something on screen, but they own a lot of different food companies. And right now I'm actually down in my position about 22% or $342. Now, am I going to sell it at this down point? Absolutely not. I don't really want to take that big of a loss with it, but I am looking to get rid of this, po this position in the future, just letting you guys know for transparency's sake. But yeah, cool stuff there. They pay a solid dividend around 6%, I believe, or around 8% looks like Robin Hood, but I'll double check that. Either way, they pay a solid dividend, solid stuff. They've been very consistent with their dividends so far ever since I've been invested into them. And they pay you a quarterly dividend. So no problems here, no problems. But overall, I am looking for something else regarding the food market that I'm trying to get into. And I kind of want to get away from the BGS position. So we'll see for the future. But for the time being, that's what we got for BGS. So $24.84. Let's move on over to the next stock, which is ticker symbol JPM. I've been talking about JPM for a while now. This is on May 2nd as well, and it was reinvested back into JPM stock, and that's for $7.07. .07. JPM stands for JP Morgan Chase. We can go ahead and click on that. That's for holding about seven shares, and I got about $1 per share. So cool stuff there, solid stuff with JPM. If we go ahead and check out JPM stock right now, it's sitting at $131.69 a share right now. I think a great plot, great price to buy some more at. I've been personally advocating for JPM stock for a couple of weeks now, if you watch my previous videos, talking about some solid dividend stocks to get into. I've been talking about JPM stock for a while. And honestly, you could have made a quick come up on some options or just if you wanted to buy a whole bunch over the past week or so because they're up about 9% over the past week. Obviously, we've talked about the stock market going up and down. So as a long-term play, great. As a short-term play, you're playing with a lot of risk. But do what you got to do. Get in, get out. That's what you want to do. Or grab it for the long term, just like I'll be grabbing mine for the long term. Either way, I'll be buying more JPM in the future. Right now, I'm sitting at about 10 and a half shares of JPM. So next time that dividend payout comes out every single quarter, I'll get even more. And I'm down about 5%. So I'll be buying more very soon. Love JPM. Use all of their banking assets. Use their business bank accounts, their credit cards. Um, it's not their debit cards. I'm not really a big debit card guy, but you would know that if you watch my channel. So watch the channel. But yeah, JPM, cool stuff. Nothing crazy. We'll be buying more. A great price to, great price to buy it at. So I like it. Past JPM, we got ticker symbol. 
VZ, and that stands for Verizon. And this is on May 2nd of 2022, also reinvested back into Verizon. And that's for $15.88. Verizon is another one where you guys already know I'm buying more of it if you've been watching my channel. I'm buying more of it. I'm currently down in it, and I do plan on buying more like I just said before. Right now, that's for holding about 24 shares of Verizon. Overall, they pay me about 64 cents per share. And we go ahead and check it out. Verizon stock is sitting at about 51 42 a share 5g is still a solid push Verizon's still making consistent income every single month regardless of what happens in the world people are going to pay their bills their verizon bills their verizon wireless bills their internet bills and everything else pretty much that verizon offers which cable tv all that kind of good stuff and they have way more than that under their umbrella of things that they own so we scroll down verizon stock i got a buy set up for i believe tomorrow i think i'm just buying like two more shares something 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 slight just buying two more shares tomorrow or Tuesday when the market opens back up because Memorial Day. On top of that, uh, right now I'm down about 3%. We'll be buying more. You guys know the deal. And I also have a recurring buy on Verizon right now as well. Long-term goal for Verizon, we're going up with it only. So for sure, I think it's a great play for the long-term, like most of my dividend stocks in this position or in this portfolio in particular. Past Verizon stock, what do we got? We got ticker symbol. Wow, I went all the way out. So give me a second. All right, fix that and we're back. The next stock on this list is ticker symbol LOW. That stands for Lowe's and that is on May 4th of 2022. It's getting reinvested back into Lowe's stock to earn me even more money. And that is on or for $4.27. So cool stuff on Lowe's. Lowe's or Home Depot, they both work out really well. I talked about both of them in previous dividend videos. Like I said, check those previous dividend videos out. I just made like two dividend videos talking about some great stocks to get into and Lowe's is definitely one of them and Home Depot I think is even better right now. But regardless, 5.33 shares, uh, amount per share about 80 cents per share and we go ahead and check out Lowe's stock right now. It's sitting at 199.63. Not cheap, but this is definitely a consumer defensive like a, like type of stock. So overall, definitely something good to have for the long term, definitely something good to have in your portfolio to balance out all that risk you may have with something like a Tesla maybe. But yeah, definitely a great company to be invested into. Like I said, this or Home Depot, solid stuff. We go down lows, 5.35 shares now, overall up about 13%. We'll be buying more, nothing crazy. Past that, what do we got? We have ticker symbol AAPL, another quarterly dividend. I believe every dividend so far has been quarterly, so that means they pay you every three months or so throughout the year. But um, right now, Apple, AP, AAPL is Apple, May 12th of 2022, and that is reinvested as well back into Apple stock. And that is for $2.77. So let's go ahead and click on that. That's for holding about 12 shares of Apple. Overall, about $0.23 cent per share paid out to me. Back that. Right now, Apple is sitting at 150 a share right now. I believe it's actually below 140. I believe it was below 140 last week. So definitely a great time to buy Apple stock. Like I said, the market's doing whatever right now. We really don't know. The past week has been pretty solid, like over up, up about eight, nine percent. But overall, the past week for the most of the stock market has been okay. The past year so far has been pretty, pretty trash, to be honest. So yeah, great time to grab some Apple stock if you're in Apple for the long term. And why would you not be? It's a great company. Past that, though, we scroll down. We can see I'm up about 16% on Apple stock. It's no question I'm going to be buying more. It's Apple. Let's be real. Past Apple, what do we got? Ticker symbol O. That stands for Realty Income. And this is on May 13th of 2022 for $2.86. Let's go ahead and click on that. That's for holding about 11 and a half shares of Realty Income. About 24 cents per share was paid out to me. And we go ahead and check it out. It's sitting at 69 45 a share right now we scroll down that's for a whole i have right well if we scroll down i have about 11.6 shares of realty income now overall up about 18 percent if you guys don't know what realty income is it's pretty much one of those top monthly paying dividend stocks that you can be invested in so this one pays you a dividend every single month we love to see it they pretty much own a whole bunch of different commercial real estate so la fitness walgreens um home depot they own those buildings and they receive you know that lease money from those buildings and we receive some of that lease money or some of that money that they make in profit in the form of a monthly dividend we love to see it that's what i'm saying so august up there i haven't really been looking at this too much i do plan on buying more just naturally but i don't really have a price target of when i'm buying more realty income so let me see what it's looking like over the past i haven't really been looking at this stock at all so past month down a little about three percent past three months so yes yeah, it's, it's not been doing anything crazy just whatever so I'll buy some when I buy some. I'm not in any rush to buy anything right now. But if it takes another crazy dip like this happened when the whole COVID thing happened, then sure, we'll definitely be buying more. But for right now, I'm not too worried about it. Past realty income, we have ticker symbol 
M-A-I-N, and that stands for Main Street Capital. That is on May 13th of 2022, and that's for $6.17. Main Street Capital is another monthly paying dividend stock, as far as I remember, I think it is. Monthly paying dividend stock, this is for holding about 28.6 shares, and they pay me about 21 cents per share. I've actually bought some more Main Street Capital, and I think I, think I plan on buying even more next week. So. Be on the lookout for that. Main Street Capital right now is sitting at about 38.43 a share right now. And we scroll down, I have about 28.8 shares right now. Overall up about four bucks. Nothing crazy, but this is pretty much what I got in for originally. So I thought, well, it'd be a great time to add some more to my position. On top of that, it'll give me some more dividend, which will go back into the stock to make me even more money in the future. So nothing crazy with Main Street Capital. They pretty much hand out loans to smaller companies and stuff like that. They collect that loan interest from that company, and then we get a little bit of that back in that monthly paying dividend. We love to see it. You guys know. We love to see it. Hashtag, hashtag, we love to see it. Regardless, next one on the list is ticker symbol PG, Procter & Gamble. This is a quarterly paying dividend stock. You guys don't know what Procter & Gamble is. They handle a lot of household products. I'm sure you have at least 10 in your house right now, house, apartment, wherever you live at. You got it. It's there. Um, yeah, so on May 16th of 2022, they paid me $4.96. If you go ahead and click on that, that's for holding about 5.4 shares of Procter & Gamble. And that is on, or that is for about 91 cents per share. So go ahead and click on Procter & Gamble stock to see the stock price. It's sitting at 148.72. Not cheap at all, but definitely such a solid stock to be invested into. Um, I mean, they, they're, doing their, they're doing their thing. Regardless, if I scroll down a little bit, I have about 5.57 shares now. Overall, up about 14%. Will be invested for the long term. There is no question about this. Don't plan on selling this at all. And yeah, I think it's ooh, down about 7% for the past month. Okay. Can drop a little bit, a couple of dollars in there. Nothing crazy. You know, dollar mic. Past that, though, we got ticker symbol STAG or STAG, STAG Industrial to be exact. On May 16th, they paid me $3.79. Go ahead and click on that. That's for holding about 31 shares. Overall, about 12 cents per share was paid out with those shares. So go ahead and click on that. Stag Industrial is actually way down from when I originally bought it. So that's a great time for me to buy some more stock because I really do believe in this particular industry or not industry, this particular stock or this particular company. Regardless, um, 33.28 a share right now. We scroll down. I have about 35 shares. I do plan on buying more because I'm down about 20% with those shares right now. I think it's a great time to buy Stag Industrial. Pretty much they handle industrial real estate. So not commercial real estate like realty income. They handle industrial real estate. So they pretty much buy warehouses. They lease those warehouses out to different companies. One of their top customers is Amazon. And I've made a video talking about Stag Industrial before. I'll probably have it linked right up there to go over all all everything they need everything you need to know about stag industrial but you can also of course do your own research as you should be doing when you're investing anyway but for the time being i'm definitely buying more stag industrial getting a mean discount because i bought it around the 40s and now it's around 33 they definitely took a hit over the past uh, month three months pretty much since the beginning of this year and i'm not mad at it, it gives me a chance to get in when i wanted to get in because everybody already wrote it up from about 33 last time anyway. So this is perfect for me. So, you know, yeah, we're going to do that. Past that, though, we got ticker symbol what? Ticker symbol A-L-L-Y, which stands for Ally Bank or Ally Financial. So pretty much a bank stock, pretty much Bank of America, Chase, you know, all that kind of stuff. A bank stock, if you guys don't know, that's what it is. On May 16th of 2022, they paid me $4.34. You see, this is reinvested as well. We go ahead and check that out. That is for 14.47 shares. Overall, they paid me about 30 cents per share. And right now, Ally Financial is sitting at 43.16. I believe this is around where I bought it at. But let me just double check. Up over 9% over the past week. Crazy stuff. Not bad. Down about 12% over the past three months. So definitely, definitely down over 20% over the past year. Definitely space to buy some. Just like JP Morgan Chase. Definitely space to buy some of this. I think these financial stocks, well, I mean, these financial banks, the big ones, they aren't going anywhere anyway. So forget about that but scroll down I'm, I'm still up about six percent i thought i was down so definitely gonna buy more of this um last time i checked i was gonna sell it and that was a while back when i think it was around 60 dollars a share or something like that so yeah um definitely gonna buy more i like ally i haven't been using it as much as i've been using chase right now but great company great stock i had one of my loans through them and i also use their banking uh needs and stuff like that like their savings account their checking account which actually do give you a little bit of interest versus pretty much every other bank which doesn't give you any interest you know one percent is better than nothing so hey but yeah cool stuff ally financial i'm gonna buy some more shares of this for sure 
Past Ally Financial, we got ticker symbol KMI or Kinder Morgan. This is on May 16th of 2022, also reinvested. $13.99 was paid to me and reinvested back into the stock. That's for holding about 50 shares of Kinder Morgan, overall 27 cents per share. We're going to check out Kinder Morgan stock. It's sitting at $19.90 a share right now. They actually handle a lot of natural gas like things. So pretty much they actually own the largest natural gas pipeline in the United States, connecting, I think, between the United States and Canada. But we're not really that focused on natural gas right now. We might be focused on more natural gas needs in the future. We'll see how, you know, this presidency goes, you know, this administration, the next administration, the administration after that. We'll see what happens. But for the time being, I do believe in this natural gas like push just a bit. Of course, I still believe in my electric push as well. But just a bit we, that that transition takes time. So I still believe in this just a bit for the long term. And I do plan on being invested in Kinder Morgan for the long term. And on top of that, they pay a solid dividend. It's consistent. I'm not mad at it. We scroll down. I'm up over 14, pretty much 15% with my 51 shares now. Cool stuff. Nothing to complain about. I'm not buying anymore at the time, at this current time. But I'm going to hold what I got for now. Cool. Past Kinder Morgan, though, what do we got? We got ticker symbol. We're almost done here, I believe. We got ticker symbol. I know we got a lot of stocks. We got a lot of stocks this month, which is great. You know, we love... We love a lot of dividends. We love a lot of passive income. Great. Um, ticker symbol PSEC. This is a monthly paying dividend stock. I've had this on here since the beginning of my portfolio pretty much. And this is on May 19th of 2022 for $7.16. Go ahead and click on Prospect Capital. And I had, this is for holding about 119 shares. I have I have never bought any more shares ever since I got to 120 pretty much. Haven't bought any more. I could, but it's not going to. Overall, this pays me a nice little $7 every single month. Cool whatever right now it's sitting at 768 a share right now overall i have the dividend coming in on june as well cool stuff obviously because it's a monthly paying dividend stock and i still have my 119 shares overall up about 58 percent as you can see i've had it for a while i've had it since it was in the threes and i have not sold pretty much any of it since and i don't really plan on buying any more of it right now either but it is consistent from what i've seen i've had very consistent dividends every single month so if you do want to get into this and you just want to get a consistent dividend payout, which is around, I think, yeah, 9, 10% dividend yield. You can do that. I think it's a great company to be invested into. They pretty much do the same thing as Main Street Capital, hand out loans to smaller companies. They collect the interest. That interest gets paid to us in the form of a dividend, a little bit of their extra income. Simple enough. So I do like it. Great stuff. I'm not mad at it. It does it does the job. And if you want to get into it, you can. I just recommend uh, playing it with a little bit of caution just because this one is still more risky than investing in something like um, something like Procter and Gamble but obviously Procter and Gamble that's a hundred dollar stock so you know have your risk assessment evaluated for yourself pretty much that's what I'm saying so that's all I got I believe it is is it more stocks left no nope, it is not more stocks or QYLD is not gonna pay us till the next month because QYLD is a special type of dividend so it's a little bit different regardless that all that's all the stocks i got for the month of may i believe that adds up to be a little bit over 98 dollars in total dividend income for the month of may i'll probably have something on screen to have the exact amount but yeah about 98 dollars in dividend income that is more than last month and of course we're going to continue investing into the stock market into these dividend stocks to get even more passive income in the future with just goals to just make even more we'll just we'll just keep pumping it in because like why not on top of that if the stock price goes up with you investing into these stocks which it will because it's a great time to get into the market it will still go up you'll make even more money and i say that because let me pull up one more stock this is not on i'm not getting paid from them this month but i just want to pull it up real quick just to show you guys actually i'm gonna save it i'm gonna save it for the next video the next video or most likely the next video will be a portfolio update and i'll talk about this stock in the portfolio update and why i plan on selling it it's a great dividend stock i made a lot of money from this dividend stock but i think i'm actually going to sell it for reasons that i'll talk about in that video so be on the lookout for the next portfolio update it should be uh, in the next couple of days because we are May 19th. So yeah, it should be in the next couple of days. June, portfolio update. Watch the video. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. A great reason because people always ask me, when do I sell a stock? When do I sell a stock? This is a time where you might want to sell a stock. Can't tell you exactly when to do it because I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not, you know, I'm just a YouTuber. I'm just a guy on the internet. Don't listen to me. But I'm going to give you my best, my, my three cents. So two cents, three cents, whatever. We'll talk about that in the future too. That's a secret. So that's all I got. That's all I got. Either way, thank you guys for watching this video. As always, um, this is, like I said before, the May May dividend 
payout update video, like all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. I don't think I have anything else to say. The vlogs are still coming on the second channel. I do have other stuff planned on the second channel, which I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So yeah, I think I'm good. I don't think I have anything else to talk about right now. I'm out. Thank you guys for the support. We're almost at 17,000 subscribers. We love to see it. I'm out. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay hydrated. Stay positive. Dollar Mike. Peace.